Good morning, dear students, and welcome in our science field. So, in our previous video, we have started a new point from the result motion and measurement of distances. What was the name of the point? That is types of motion. From the types of the motion, already we have seen the certain example. Certain types of the motion also we have discussed about different examples of that motion. So today we will continue with that same point. Today we will discuss about the remaining types of motion. So let's see. First type of the motion today we will discuss that is about oscillatory motion. Let's see what is meant by oscillatory motion. When an object moves to and fro from about its mean position, its motion is called oscillatory motion. Okay, so when an object moves to and fro, to and fro means what? Up and down, or we can say left and right. Means uh, going front and again coming back to its normal position. That is, we can say that what? To and fro movement. So when an object moves to and fro from its mean position, its motion is called oscillatory motion. Mean position means what? From its center point, it can go to and fro. Then that motion is called as what? Oscillatory motion. So there are so many examples of an oscillatory motion. We will discuss some examples. See here, I am having one plane, and along with that plane, I have tied one stone. So now this stone is standing here in the resting position. You can say that, or it is in the mean position. Now I will take this on the left, and I will leave it. Then again, it is coming to its normal position. It is nothing but what? To and fro motion, and it is only called as what oscillatory motion. Okay, it is also called as what oscillatory motion. This motion is called as see, it is coming to its normal position and it is okay, going back to and fro, to and fro movement, and this movement is only called as what oscillatory motion. So, to and fro motion of this stone, also we can say that the motion of an pendulum, uh, motion of a pendulum. The clock, you can see the image how the pendulum is doing the motion in the clock, and also we can say the motion of swing. Okay, the swing is going front and again coming back, going front and again coming back. So that position is called as that motion is called as which motion? Oscillatory motion, doing the uh, to and fro movement from the mean position. From the main position, it is going to and fro, going front and coming. This is called as what oscillatory motion. Now we we'll discuss the next motion or the type of the motion that is what vibratory motion. What is meant by vibratory motion? So maybe you have seen the sitar or the guitar. Okay. So when you stretch the string, when you stretch the string of sitar or guitar, then what happens? Only that string is doing the movement, or only that string. Not whole sitar or guitar. Okay, it means what the when you stretch the string, that the not only the string is showing the movement, and that string is showing the which motion? That is what vibratory motion. Okay, so let us discuss about what is the definition of vibratory motion. When an object moves in such a way, very important words to spend keep in the mind. When an object moves in a such a way, object is moving, but in a which way? In such a way that a part, one part or parts of an object, okay, one or many parts of the object remains fixed, okay, always remain fixed and does not move while the rest of the object moves to and fro in a definite pattern. Its motion is called vibratory motion. Very important. Listen, what happens? The object is showing the movement. The object is moving. But in such a way that what happens? One part or part. Part or parts. Means one, one or more parts of an object always remain the fixed. Okay, always remain fixed and does not move while the remaining portion of an object, the rest of the object moves to and fro motion. They are showing a to and fro motion, but in a definite pattern. The pattern of the movement is what? Definite or it is fixed. Then the motion is called as what? Vibratory motion. 
portion. Okay. So let's take one example of the vibratory motion. See here, I have drawn a diagram. These are the two iron plates. On these two iron plates, I have uh, tied one spring. Okay. And now this spring is in a rest. Okay. Straight spring at rest. I have stretched it. Okay. That spring is straight along with these two iron plates. Now what I will do? I will just plug this spring. Okay. I will plug this straight spring. Then what will happen? It will show the two and fro moment drop. B to C. B to C. This from B comes to A and A will go to C. Again from C it will go to A and from A it will go to B. It is a very fast. It will cannot come to know exactly. It is very fast. They are showing the motion. So they are showing the two and fro. That is called vibrating stretch. Three it is going to and fro moment. And it is nothing but this type of the motion. Vibration. Vibratory motion. It is what it gives the vibrations. So see here, let's discuss this same thing with the help of the practical. See here, I am having two iron nails. Along this iron nails, I have uh, tied one stretch spring. Now what I will do, I will just plug this spring. But then what happens, it is showing the oscillatory movement. It is showing the up and down motion. That is only what? To and fro motion. See, it makes the sound also. Why it makes the sound? Because of that vibration makes the sound. So that is only what oscillator. Uh, that is only what rotatory motion. See, these two ends are remain fixed. Okay, these two ends of this spring spring are remain fixed. But this remaining whole portion of the spring is showing the movement in a definite pattern, in a fixed pattern, and that motion is called as what oscillatory. This experiment you can also do at home. Just tell your parents to hold one spring spring and just plug it. Then it will show the two and fro movement. That is nothing but what vibratory motion. Okay, this is only what vibratory motion. So we can say that for the example of the vibratory motion is present in our body. We are doing the breathing all the time. So whenever we inhale the air, then our chest comes up. Then exhale, it goes to its normal position. Okay? It means not coming up and down. It happens while we are doing the breathing. But our whole body is not doing movement. Our whole body is not going up and down. Only the chest portion is moving up and down. So it is the one example of vibratory motion. Okay? Only the some parts are fixed and remaining all parts are what? Moving of the chest. That is only called as what vibratory motion. Next one that is periodic motion. What is in my periodic motion? A motion that repeats itself after regular interval. Okay, the motion that repeats itself after regular interval of time is called periodic motion. So the, uh, there are certain incidents that happen at the regular time interval. We can say many of our students is going on. Then what happens after one hour, our period change. That is means what? That is the periodic motion. After one hour, we iterate. Then again, there is one hour, then it is a Marathi period. Like then what time duration is going to fix and after the time period duration, so there is a change happens. Okay, that is only called we can say that for periodic change we can say, but here what we have taken in the mind that is for periodic motion. So after regular interval of the time the motion is happened, and that motion is called as what periodic motion. The motion that repeats itself. It repeats itself after the regular intervals of time and is called as what periodic motion. So there are so many examples of the periodic motion. Periodic motion. After the intervals of the time, it is showing the 
motion. Regular interval of the time is showing the motion. That is only what rearing motion. So the heart rate also is one example of the rearing motion. One more we can say that the needle of a CV machine. Okay, it goes up and down. It's after regular interval it goes up, then at the same time it comes down also. Okay, so the time period to go up and down it is what fixed. That is only what is what rearing motion. Next step we discuss that is what non-periodic motion is from the name only we can say that what the motion is repeated but the time is not fixed. A motion that does not repeat itself at a regular interval of the time. The motion is repeated but the time is doesn't fix. Then that motion is called as what non-periodic motion. Okay. See if we are moving our legs and like the hands. Okay, or our arms. Repeatedly, but not at the same interval of the time. Okay, so it is the one example of what non-periodic motion. So this is all. These all are the different types of motion. But sometimes what happens? There are the certain conditions in that more than one motion is present, and that motions are called as what multiple motion. So when an object possesses Two or more type of motion at the same time. The motion two or more type of the motion happens at the same time. Then that motion is called as what multiple motion. Multiple means what many more. Okay. Then that motion is called as what multiple motion. We take the one example. If the boy is riding a bicycle, it means what? It showing the motion. So if it is going on the so, uh, straight path, it is showing the rectilinear motion. It is going on the curve path. It is showing the curvilinear motion. Also, the wheel of the uh, wheel of the bicycle is moving. It is means what? It is which type of the motion? Rotatory motion. So wheel of the bicycle is moving. It is a rotatory motion. Also, it is sometimes it is showing rectilinear motion or the curvilinear motion. So it means what? Two motions happen at the same time. That is what multiple motion. Our earth is moving around its own axis. That is nothing but what? Rotatory motion and moving along its own axis, it moves around the sun. That is nothing but what circular motion. So it is also one example of what multiple motion. Okay, so different types of the motion happens at the same time. It is called as what multiple motion. Okay, so this is all about today. Here we have finished our lesson number ten. That is what motion and measurement of distances. Okay. So this is all about today. We will meet in the next video, in the next chapter for today.